spirits here. Now you get into combi mode, and you can have four different karma elements running at once. Now I'll just give you a little bit of an idea what that can sound like. improvising a saxophone run over top of what we're doing. Welcome back. Um, that was my elbow, playing uh, in the key of Q. <laughs> and uh, a few more examples of that. Changing scenes affects all four karma modules at once. And as you can see, we've covered lots and lots of different styles of music here. A couple more I'd like to play. <laughs> Lots of mad scientist stuff happening. And uh, just because I like changing the mood. some strings. Nice stuff. Again, this is all programming genius by the same guys who brought you the sounds at the M1, the Trinity, the Triton. When you get a team of guys that good, you just don't let them go. So, we've heard how good the M3 can sound. Let's talk about recording. The M3 has a high resolution sequencer with all the familiar chord tools that people uh, have been requesting over the years, like cue lists, so you can string sequences together, RPPR, so you can play an entire pattern from a single key. And of course, it's very easy to use thanks to the color touchscreen. What I'd like to show you is, let's say you get inspired by one of these fantastic commons. I'm just going to choose one here. Yeah, one of my favorites. All you have to do, if you want to record a combi exactly the way you're playing it, is to hold down the enter button and press record. And then you touch OK on the screen. It's called One Touch Record. You push Start, and after a two-measure count in, you're recording exactly the way you just played. sounds need room to breathe before you let it go. So you never know what will happen when you hold a key. <laughs> Good morphing of five other sounds. 
So we just recorded everything that I did, for better or for worse. Now, let's say that we wanted to save our progress as a WAV file. All I need to do is press those two buttons, press start, play the song back, and it creates a two-channel WAV file on my very convenient USB medium. From there, I can USB it over to a computer, burn a disk, or I can plug in a USB CD burner directly to the back of the MP3 and create an album right from the touchscreen. If I go into the media uh, mode, there's a make audio CD tab. All I need to do is select the WAV files, insert them in the order that I want. I can even edit the WAV files and do some final mastering. So from start to finish, the entire project is there. Now, that's one way to create music using a combi that's already in there. But let's say you want to start from scratch. Let's say, for example, you have an, an idea for a song in a specific style. I'm going to create a new song here, and I'm going to call up a song template. Somebody think of a style of music. Anything. R&B. R&B? Yeah. I load up the R&B template. I can optionally copy a preset pattern. So I'm going to do that, and it asks me what kind of pattern I want. That's okay. That's all right. That's the one. Touch OK, and it copies the pattern. I can then choose a different pattern and copy it again. I can create an entire rhythm track. For now, I'm just going to click on Exit. And what just happened is, the sequencer set me up with eight useful instruments for the style of music that I've chosen. So the first track is already done. Those are my drums. My second track is a bass. So I'm just going to quickly set my pre-count measure to one and record track two. electric piano. Pretty nice. I only recorded two bars there. The unique thing about chord sequencers, one of the many unique things, is that you can loop tracks individually. So I'm going to go to the loop tab and set up a four bar loop for both the drums and the bass. And then I'll set up a two bar loop for the electric piano. So I've got a whole uh, bunch of other preset sounds ready to go and there are eight tracks that are empty. Now the other nice thing about the template song is that it's routed all my effects for me and done a professional mastering job in the process. The M3 has five insert effects processors. And as I'm sure you heard when I was playing that rock guitar thing, the effects are insanely good. In fact, uh, the Toneworks modeling from our uh, guitar processors is in here. So I can plug in a real guitar, run it through a virtual chorus pedal, a virtual guitar head, like a Vox AC30 or something like that, create a virtual guitar cabinet that's matched up to that head, then I can model a microphone. I can choose from vocal condenser, vocal dynamic, multi-pattern condenser. I can decide how close I want it to the amplifier, and then model a tube preamp. Then once I'm done with that, I can you know, play the guitar, actually hear the sound of the AC-30 in a room that I've designed in the keyboard, and record that right into the sequencer. You can record audio into the M3 sequencer, and you can do so on all 16 tracks. It does not edit in a traditional uh, uh, digital audio workstation format because you are using sampling RAM when you do that. But if you need to record 16 tracks of audio, it can be done. Wouldn't call it its primary focus in the sequencer, but in a pinch, if you need to plug in a mic and record a quick vocal, you're good to go.